Imagine, if you will, a house so organized, so clean, that it is no longer a great challenge. A house where everything is in its place, and when you need a tool, you can find it in a snap. This is the Twilight Zone, also known as the Boiler Room. I am here today for day 27 of my 30 bags in 30 days declutter challenge. I am doing the tools. It's going to be mad boring. I get it, but it needs to be done. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. By the way, it's Thursday night. I am filming Friday's video and guess what? I had a big problem with the rendering yesterday. It was all corrupted. I ended up having to re-render. So it's re-rendering right now for today's video. So I'm hoping I can get it to you before 11 p.m. tonight. You'll figure it out by the time you get this video. Um, anyway, so we're in the boiler room today. And yesterday after... Um, I cleaned up all of the Christmas stuff and, you know, put everything back and got a huge pile on the other side of the basement. Um, while the video was actually rendering around 10 o'clock at night, um, I came in here and I kind of put everything back on the shelves. I am declutter. I'm going to do that now. So it's not going to be the most interesting material because we are in the boiler room and I have decided that this will no longer be a storage room. This is going to be a utility room, which, which it should have been since day one. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the room where I'm going to keep all manners of tools and supplies. There will be no decorative item. There will be nothing that uh, is stored in here except for Scott's artwork that's all the way in the back. Um, and I'm keeping it here because this is a very dry room all year long, okay? And, um, you know, it's very fragile paper. And one of those days he promised he was gonna go through it. I don't think he wants to keep all of his sketches and stuff, but I'm not touching it, so that's his domain. Right, so this room here, I basically just want to keep it as a storage room um, for tools and supply, you know, paint, oils, um, you know, things like this, I have a lot of those, and uh, try to avoid decorative items, even though I have a wreath in here that's, uh, and it can stay here really. Uh, I'm sorry about the dog, she's upstairs, postman probably just stopped by. Anyway. So I want to keep all the tools in here and I want things to be so organized that really when I'm looking for something or when I send the kids downstairs to look for something, everybody can find the stuff. So it's going to have to be labeled at a little time, not today. Um, but basically that's what I want to do. And I need to declutter. There's some stuff in here that's old, old paint, um, stain I won't use, things that I know I'm not going to... Um, you know, use anytime soon or ever. Just streamline the shelves and really, I mean, there's some stuff in here that's sold. Uh, like I'm looking at some old paint, um, you know, like cans of stripper where this baby like not even a half an ounce left, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that today. Um, again, I'm really sorry it's not gonna be super interesting, but it still needs to be done because we all have one of those um, tool room, utility shed, area where we keep all of our supplies. So eventually down the road, this is where I'm going to keep the extra laundry detergent, the extra paper towels, things like that. So it's just going to be um, that purpose only. And I have the boiler in here and I have the water tank and I want to be able to have very easy access to them without having to move boxes. So let me show you what I did yesterday and then I'll get started. And I'm pretty sure the lighting is heinous in here, but that's okay. We can deal with that because I mean, come on, we're in the basement. We are in the twilight zone. If you remember from previous videos, uh, I have all the tools here with their shadow and you know whatnot that I've, I've drawn so that we know where to put them. The only one that is not uh, properly placed is this one. That saw uh, that's missing is probably in the garage. So eventually I'll have to bring it in. Um, Scott's painting moved here. I gotta move it somewhere else if he wants to keep it. I still have this to sort through. 
a lot of empty containers here. I have this one here I need to sort through. And then this is what I did yesterday. So I added one shelf here um, that's almost empty. You can see that. And then I have this one right here uh, where I put all the boxes and stuff. And I need to go through all of this, guys. All of this today. And then I have this one here. And this one is where I keep all of the hand tools and whatnot. So um, that's that. And then there's this one right here. So I'm going to go through this stuff here first. The goal is to have all of this here completely empty. Um, there should not be any boxes, nothing on the floor. So that we have easy access to the boiler which is right here and easy access to the water tank so that I can um, bleed it which you should do every month but I haven't done it in about three or four months and you know um, I promise I would do a video on that at some point. I will uh, I just, next time I gotta remember to do it. Alright let me get started and see what I can find in here. So I have a huge amount of tools and you probably are wondering why. <laughs> okay. Well, years ago, this is what happened. Uh, this is an old, um, okay, I need a trash bin. I'm going to do this. This is going to be for trash, okay, for cable. Um, years ago, I have, that's even better, I have a friend of ours who moved out of his home and um, went into, he downsized and he got himself into an apartment. So what happened is that he um, pretty much dumped a lot of his tools here. Um, which is the reason why I have so many tools and some of them in duplicate. Um, because he couldn't keep them in an apartment. So I now have two of these. Okay, so I have to find the second one somewhere. Put that in here for now. Okay. Um, so that's the reason why I have so many tools. Um, but I really need to call them because I have, I have too much stuff and I want things to be easily accessible, things to be easily found. I don't want to spend two hours looking for something and better yet, I don't want to have to use an alternative tool because I can't find the right one. Okay. Uh, S video connection for TV, DVR, no, DVD, VCR, cable. Um, you know what? We're not going to need that. Whatever we have right now is what we're going to keep. Okay, this thing here. It's one of those um, tapes for vents. You know, like uh, heating vents and uh, uh, the dryer vents and all of that. All the stuff I have right now is installed. If I need anything to be repaired, I have the 10-year insurance on my machines. They'll come with their own stuff. Um, that's not the kind of stuff I want to do myself. There's plenty of garbage bags here. Okay, this is metal polish. This I'm keeping because you remember I used that. Okay, we have uh, plastic coated cable. Okay, I'll keep that. W40, that's empty. Okay. We have one of these that's another one that's a heap. Marbles. <laughs> okay, 
So, what I'm going to do is um, go through the boxes and I have to decide what I'm keeping and not keeping. Um, like for instance, in this one, obviously stuff is like totally out of order, like this should not be here. This is painting, alright? So, Carl King doesn't belong here. I'm going to put, uh, in this box I'm going to put all of the uh, rest, you know, like the brushes I found in the other, uh, when I was going through the stuff that was on the other side. So I'm going to put that in and then I have another box here. So I'm going to see, I have three boxes of painting actually. So I'm going to see if I can consolidate into one box. That would make sense. Okay, so let me do that. Be right back. <laughs> too tight it's too tight for me to film so I did it it's done um, I'm so happy you have no idea how much joy this brings because <laughs> and it sounds ridiculous right so let me show you what I've done um, none of, I did get rid of quite a lot um, but otherwise everything is organized everything is where it belongs everything is where it needs to be I know exactly what's in here. If I need something, I can just go and get it within 10 seconds. So when you come in at the shelf here, and all here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but all the way over there, this is all empty containers, okay? Uh, this is for candles, this one right there. So the candles I have on the other side are gonna go in there. These are all products that you use, but not very often, like the W40 and uh, the uh, Butcher Block stuff and the uh, you know, uh, spray glue, whatever. Okay, so that's that. And then this is empty, so this is where I'm gonna put the supplies, okay? Uh, extra toilet paper, paper towels. Well, no, actually, that should, the toilet paper should go in the linen closet. But, um, you know, laundry detergents, things like this, or I could leave it like entirely empty. The good thing now is that I have access to this right away. I don't have to move things when they come and read the gas counter. On here at the bottom, I have all manner of uh, paint strippers and paint that are still good, uh, and then stains that I'm using all the time because you know I like to stain stuff. Uh, here is various stuff. I have some grout. It's just like general stuff, okay? And then some heavy duty cleaner. Over here, I have nails, and I'm trying to not have too much of a shadow. And I finally got all of my. Um, what do you call them? My box cutters. Okay. Then I have these boxes here. The two boxes on the other side here is all paint. This is caulk. Everything you need for caulking. And this is all the screws. Okay. I'm going to label. I'm just not going to do it now. On top here in that twine basket, guess what's in it? All the twine. So I have about three uh, spools and plus one in the garage. Um, we all, always need twine. You know, for uh, wrapping newspaper and magazines or whatever when you do the recycle. Alright, so this is a small box of um, odd shape light bulbs. Light bulbs that we don't really use all the time. Um, my cleaning brush is right here. Okay. Um, in here I have a box of miscellaneous. It's miscellaneous stuff um, that I will redistribute at some point. Here is everything you can't see. All right, in this In this drawer here this is getting really dark here because I'm in the middle of, I'm blocking the light, I'm sorry. All right, so in here is all the stuff related to the drill. So it's all the bits and um, the screwdriver bits and stuff. Uh, this is all sanding and some shims. You can't see, I'm sorry. This is um, zip ties and miscellaneous stuff, you can't see. Sorry, okay. On this side here, I have all the electrical plugs and then this is all electrical stuff this is basically all the uh, extension cords 
This is the travel um, cosmetic bags because I don't need them in the bathroom, it takes too much room. Uh, over here is all the screwdrivers. Every single screwdriver in the house is in here now. Okay, so I got that. And then here on this shelf here and then on this shelf here is all power tools. So yeah. And then here I have a heater and then um, some replacement uh, recess light and some powerful cleaners for like degreasers and stuff like that. Okay. You've seen all the tools, uh, the big tools. I prefer to have them like this than having a uh, um, toolbox because that way you can just grab and go. You don't have to pull a whole bunch of tools before you get to the one you want. And this is everything I got rid of today. So I have um, two bags of junk. And one of them is the Notorious Cables. Um, listen, we've dragged this box of cable for 12, if not more years. Old modern, that's like ridiculously slow. Uh, old cables for the TV, we don't use those anymore. Um, old plugs that I don't know what they're for. If they've been here for 12 years, obviously we don't need them. They're for stuff we don't use anymore. This is all the stuff that I uh, previously put in the trash. I have this big wire basket here that I'm letting go of and then this basket here I'm letting go of. So this is all the bag for the 27. Okay, so once I remove this, these bags, I have all this space here empty, right? Oh, I finally found that that's the charger for my Olympus camera. Um, so all of this is going to be empty and all of this is going to be empty. I have this here, right? And this is all empty. Guess what? Once I remove this, I now have room to store the vacuum cleaner and that is priceless because I never know what to do with it. See the vacuum cleaner in the living room or in the dining room because I didn't have any space for it. Guess what? I do now have a space for the vacuum cleaner and that is priceless. I'm very happy about that. So I'm pretty sure this was a very short video. I'm telling you it was very difficult to film in here. Um, very difficult. I know I've done it before but uh, I don't. I can't remember how I did it. I just wanted to get the stuff done. I mean, look at this. This is a real utility room, guys. This is like phenomenal for me to be able to get to this level of organization and having the space. Um, it is just I am beside myself. And I got to tell you, when I see this the way it is, it's telling me my house is big enough. It wasn't big enough before because I had too much. But now it's very obvious that the house is big enough. I, I really, everything is in its place. I have everything where it's supposed to be. My tools are always going to be in a warm environment. They're not going to rust. They're not going to get damaged. Um, you know, I, I got the garage all cleaned up. All of the decor is on the other side. Um, and now I'm you know, I, I just I don't know what to say. <laughs> really, I'm telling you, I got the click, you guys. I got the click. I finally got it. It took me years to get here. Um, and this, as stupid as it is, it's a utility room. This makes me so happy. So happy to have it done, to have everything organized. It's a joy to walk in here. I don't mind the dog on the other side. He wants to come here. And if I let him come here, he's going to start chewing on stuff. Um, all right, so it's a joy to come here and... and know that it's organized um yeah so that was day 27. day 28 i can't remember what we're gonna do eight we got four days left guys um so uh garage is done the car is done uh the basement is pretty much done so i guess i'll tidy up and do more decluttering le chief i'm coming relax um i'm sure i have more stuff i said we were gonna do electronics right so um I may do that. I may do electronics and um, just the emails, the photos, everything that's on the computer because that's part of the stuff you should declutter as well. <coughs> so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. But you know, it's coming to an end and I'm really surprised at the amount of stuff I got rid of. Um, what a difference. You know, give it a try. You don't have to do some crazy thing, um, you know, decluttering method. You don't have to do as much as I did. But imagine if you were just doing a bag a day 
um, throughout an entire season, right? So let's say you start in August and you do that until, um, I don't know, September 21st maybe, uh, before the fall. You have like two months, right? Almost two months. Imagine if you were doing a bag a day. That was 60 bags of stuff. And I got rid of way more than 30 bags, okay? Uh, like j just the stuff from yesterday's video is is the equivalent of one week worth of of junk i got rid of and and again i have no regret it's still down here i am put it in the back of the car yet because it was you know very late when i finished yesterday so i'm definitely going to do that during the weekend but i pass by it every day when i go to the laundry and uh, i gotta tell you i'm looking at it i'm no feelings whatsoever so wow <laughs> you know i'm so happy um this was a long time coming, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I finally got it done. Um, I'm almost there. You know, now it's just decor and making the house really look pretty. I can finally do that now because I've decluttered so much. Before, in order for me to do something, again, I had to work around the garbage. I had to work around stuff and move things and try to do something out of nothing. And, and that just doesn't work. So now I can finally concentrate on remodeling the living room, remodeling the dining room, remodeling the basement. And by remodeling, I'm not talking like some crazy stuff, but, you know, maybe changing the colors, ch painting the trims, doing different curtains, um, you know, wall colors, all of this stuff. Now I can finally do it because there's less stuff to manage around it. So, yes, give me a thumbs up guys please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and the whole concept of 30 bags in 30 days and this declutter challenge for 2018 i'm not done i'm going to continue we had another four days i'm sure i'm going to find more stuff to declutter but until tomorrow don't forget to subscribe right here if you're brand new check the playlist down below for everybody else who's doing the challenge alongside of me and that would be it i'm just gonna Stay here for a minute and stare at the beauty of all my tools. <laughs> because that's the kind of stuff that makes me happy. I'm weird like that. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, you guys. Bye.